I think what uh, Kevin McCarthy did in this situation was to take the vote away from the House floor, have uh, the Oversight Committee continue the work that they have been doing for, for a number of months, and uh, really focus on spending. So I think this move by the Speaker is a move to focus on spending. The truth is we should have been focused on spending back in June. President Trump has made it known um, through his social media account that he wants to see uh, uh, President Biden impeached. Uh, I think that has uh, really stirred the base of support in the Republican Party, and I think a lot of members have reacted to that. So you can see uh, uh, Donald Trump um, enjoying this moment, frankly, and uh, it also distracts a little bit from the four indictments that, that he is facing at this time. Now, uh, Ken Buck and other Republicans have insinuated heavily that that this impeachment inquiry is being pushed by Donald Trump in his social media posts. Now, Ken Buck was voicing his dissatisfaction that instead of focusing on you know trivial things like funding the government <laughs> in the Republican Party and the GOP in the House is now focused on these uh, impeachment inquiries that have Again, no evidence backing them up. Uh, and I'm joined by Sharon Reed. Sharon, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I just want to get your thoughts on the little, the divide that's happening now within the Republicans in the House over Kevin McCarthy apparently giving the far right everything they ever wanted at great, you know, uh, at, at their uh, being upset with him in response to it. I mean, it's, it's, Funny to see because, of course, I don't want them to be successful in their endeavors, but not quite. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And it's not original. It's what every two parent household already knows. Okay. Every time you give in to your child and it's not warranted, it's not earned, this is the end result. Okay. You can't please them, neither the yes parent or the no parent. The speakership has turned into a joke, as is the man who currently occupies the position. How much longer? We don't know. He's not defending Americans. He's not really standing for anything. In fact, if you see Kevin McCarthy waiting at the gas pump, jump in front of him. If he's standing in the buffet line, go ahead and skip ahead and get your plate and do whatever you wish. Because that's what he has asked for. No respect, no dignity, no integrity. And I think it is a complete joke. If everyone's mad at you, maybe you're doing something right. Not in this case, though. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like he's definitely, um, definitely feeling the effects of this at the moment because he has had to capitulate to the right wing of the party in order to even get in the position he is now to become the speaker. Um, and it looked like for a minute that he was trying to put his foot down during the votes for speakership. But apparently now we know because Matt Gates is sort of out of his business, he did make these deals behind doors to get those votes. And according to the far right, he didn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't deliver on these promises fast enough. But he's also now upset the people who were voting for him every single round while he was fighting for the speakership. So definitely become quite a pushover in that <laughs> regard. So quickly, let's just talk about who is going to be leading this investigation, what it might entail, and how it is inevitably going to end. So let's talk about this Associated Press article. House Republicans led by Representative James Comer, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee have obtained thousands of pages of financial records from various members of the Biden family and their associates through subpoenas to the Treasury Department and to various financial institutions. Comer has repeatedly claimed without substantial evidence, I'll add without any evidence, that there is enough in those documents to draw a clear line between Hunter Biden trading on his father's name and policy decisions Biden made while Vice President. No such connection has been proven. And with Comer also joined forces in June with a Republican chairman of the Judiciary and Ways and Means Committee to launch a larger investigation into the years long Justice Department probe of Hunter Biden. The FBI and IRS have been investigating Hunter Biden for years and the case appeared headed toward a plea deal this summer until a judge rejected the terms of that agreement. Now Sharon, I think that everyone can agree that Hunter Biden wasn't uniquely qualified to sit on any of these boards. Did he probably get these jobs because his last name is Biden? Yeah, but <laughs> that's not an in it doesn't indicate corruption, particularly on Joe Biden's part. So what these Republicans are doing is they're going on a goose chase. They've collected thousands of pages of financial documents in hopes to find just in any way 
that Joe Biden himself benefited from his son's you know, positions on these boards or the deals that he was making. And it's just gone nowhere. And I think that politically, this isn't gonna help the Republicans. I mean, one, when their candidate of choice is Donald Trump, who when you're trying to frame the other guy as corrupt, you definitely don't want Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> to be your candidate. I mean, it's such a silly argument, particularly when we're trying to say that he, you know, enriched himself for the benefit of his child and or whatever they however they want to spin it. When Donald Trump put his children in very high positions in the government, I mean, what the hell does Jared Kushner know about the Middle East? It's so it's so silly to me. And I think that it won't it won't play well on the politics side of things the way that the Republicans are hoping it will. Yeah, well, I don't know, and it depends on who wishes to drink that Kool Aid, no matter how sick it makes them. What you described is, frankly, an SNL skit. The one that I don't even know would make air that night, but it's a skit. It's ridiculous, and hopefully, after all of these years, you know, because you want something for the money. Hopefully, they'll come up with something that is more than just an 11 day unloaded gun issue. Something about a lie. Because this is cheating the country. It's cheating the country and telling lies. And I just think it's at this point, SNL, there were the unfunny years, and that's perhaps what we're embarking on. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.